Hey y'all, I am making stuff and you know what? I came across this ruler in my ruler drawer because I have a ruler drawer right here. And so I was like, this totally look like pumpkins. <laughs> this can totally be like, you know, for pumpkins. So now this, I use this for my orange peel quilt that I made from Missouri Star. And um, I said, oh my goodness, this might look like something. So I was like, I'm going to make pumpkins out of it. And so I even did like this little demo right here, you guys. A little demo. Making sure that it looks like a pumpkin. And it totally do. So I was saying to myself, self, we need to make more. So I had this fabric in my stash which is this fabric and this fabric right here. So I was thinking if I make one of this fabric and then one of this fabric and then one of the other fabric put together, both of these put together, how cool would that be? How cool would that be? So you need five of each. And I believe if you don't have the ruler, you guys, you can totally probably go online and look up orange peel, if you go to Pinterest, they might have like a template you can cut out or you can probably cut out your own. You know, if you see how, you know, how it's made and all this. And then I have a rotating mat because um, I just think that would be like a better thing, you know, as you're cutting so you don't cut yourself. And so I'm going to go ahead and make my pumpkins <coughs> and I want to bring guys along with me. So. Is there any rulers in you guys ruler drawer or wherever you have rulers that you have used for other purposes? Because I am always trying to use up my extra fabrics and all that good stuff. I think we all do. <laughs> trying to use up our extra fabrics and stuff. And so, oh, you know what? I'm totally going to fold this. And then that'll work so much better. And so have you guys made your pumpkins yet? Are you making pumpkins? I made some, I made some crochet ones um, probably a couple of years ago. Um, for you guys who don't know, I do have a crochet channel and it is called Creations PS91. And you know, if you wanna know how to crochet or if you do know how to crochet we just do projects over there and have a lot of fun <laughs> over there on that channel and so I made me some crochet ones and I was like it's time it's time to make some other ones some fabric ones so I decided to make some fabric ones from some of the scraps that I am using that I have actually already and so I just need like one more and the cool thing that I, I like when I was doing my demo you guys I was actually um, I did it both ways um, see right here if you do it this way you know you get that but for some reason I like the ridges I don't know and then use some pinking shears to like cut it that it looks so pretty and so I think I'm gonna do mine this way with the the um, pumpkins sticking out because I think it's super cute and um, okay I just need one more and I know I should go iron this you guys but I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to today I'm just going to cut out and I don't know what it is. It's so satisfying to cut this out <laughs> and it's so funny. I'm on a rotating mat and I didn't even kind of use my mat. <laughs> now I used it. Okay. So, so we have our one right here. Come on. So we need five. And so I have five of these 
one two three four five and then I'm gonna cut so this is actually one pumpkin and you will just sew them like this you know excuse me I thought a bug was on me <laughs> so you will sew them like this but then when you open it up, you're going to actually get your ridges. See? And then you have... No, you won't. You would actually get them where there is no ridge. So if you sew it like this, it will just be on the other side, the wrong side. But yeah, you would totally get your ridges there. There we go. Yay. Or like that. Wrong sides to wrong sides. What would you get? And this is what I do, you guys. I'd be testing stuff, seeing how stuff is. And if I do wrong sides to wrong side, I'll totally get the ridge, right? And I'm calling this the ridge. <laughs> so I would totally get that ridge right there. If I do it this way, then of course I won't. It'll be this way, like this. And I don't want it that way. I kind of want it that way. <laughs> so, well, that's how I'm going to do mine. And so if you guys are making pumpkins and what are you making for Thanksgiving? You guys doing any Thanksgiving sewing or anything like that? I would love to know about it. What are you guys doing? So now I'm going to do the same thing with this fabric. Uh, you know what? I should actually cut 10 because, no, not 10. Because I'm going to make three of those. And I'm going to make um, three. So this one is one. And then I'm going to make one with both of the fabrics. So. I need to probably cut probably two more or three more out of this one and I'll go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my pumpkins out you guys and I can't wait to show you um, what they look like when I come back um, <laughs> with the finished pumpkins um, or you know what I might meet you guys at the sewing machine who knows um, <laughs> but um, for sure, for sure, I will be back to show you my pumpkins. All right, you guys. I'll be back. Hi, you guys. So, you guys, it is the next day. That video, the first clip of the video is 11.30 at night. <laughs> and I decided to make pumpkins and I wanted to bring you guys along. So, here I am at my sewing machine and I've been doing pumpkins. Okay, so this one is the five one. How cute is that, you guys? I'm loving it. And so what I've been doing is just adding, I'm going to add six because the more you add, the more, you know, the pumpkin gets bigger. So, so I have, you know, I cut out six of these. And so all I've been doing is just putting wrong side to wrong side. And then just sewing, sewing around, you know, just the curve so you can see it. And I'm doing this one right here. And I wanted to show you guys, um, you know, my pumpkins. Because I was like, this can, this is so easy. Like, I can make a bunch of these. Um, I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start a trend with myself. Every year I'm going to probably make <laughs> a couple of pumpkins and have my own pumpkin patch. How cute would that be? Um, and yeah, and so I just go and I just sew. Let me get that. But I had such a great time with you guys last night. <laughs> Okay, and so, you know how we be in our craft rooms just creating, I mean, I can create you guys like 
if I didn't have to sleep, I can do this. Like, I'll totally be up. And I made myself go to sleep because I wasn't sleepy. I was just in my craft room, just loving it. But of course we have to sleep. And what a bummer. <laughs> I guess it's kind of good so we can get up and do it again, right? And so I just stitch all the way and then I back stitch. And there it is. So this one is going to be um, bigger because I, I made it, you know, this one has six um, pumpkin petals. I'm calling them this one. And then this one has five. So how cute, huh? How cute. And so now all I have to do is figure out a stem. I probably go outside and get a stick or something and stick in there and you know and draw that in so I can what do you think draw that in like that and then I just think that'll be super cute so I'm gonna go ahead and make some more um, and I will uh, come back and I'll let you guys see all my pretty pumpkins I'm just I think I'm just gonna make three this one and this one and then um, probably a another smaller one like this because this is going to be the bigger one right here. And then I can place it on my mantle. Be super cute. Um, oh, and I did stuff on with Polyfield. Um, and I thought it came out so pretty. All right, you guys. I will see you in a few minutes. And let me go ahead and do everything and show you my pumpkin. Hey, you guys. I'm all back. So look at the pumpkins. How cute are they? So what I did was I gathered, to, um, you know, I gathered them up and I had some burlap um, because I didn't want to go outside and make a stem or get a stick. I mean, to go and get a stick. So I made me a little stem with my burlap and I think it came out so nice, you guys. So all I did is I used hot glue and I just took it all the way up and I thought it was so nice cute so stinking cute look at this one right here with the burlap hanging so nice right Re so you guys um i hope you like my little pumpkins <laughs> hope you like my little pumpkins so look at your rulers and see what they look like because when i saw that orange peel ruler that totally looked like pumpkins to me Thank you guys for coming on the journey with me. Um, I love having you guys here with me and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.